David, a truck driver hauling a trailer of live pigs, vanished in the middle of the night, leaving his truck and trailer sitting abandoned at an intersection crossroads. It was November 21, 2023, and searches of this part of rural Iowa turned up few clues. David's money was found in the truck, and his jacket in a nearby ditch. But no signs of David. No signs of a struggle, no note, no clues as to where David had gone, or even why he abandoned this truck. This was one of Iowa's most baffling cases. On April 24, 2024, a farmer called authorities out to his farm in Sac City. He had found the body of a man while preparing his fields for planting. The body was initially identified by his boots. It was David Schultz. This was his wife Sarah's biggest fear, and it had come true that spring afternoon. She had two boys now to break the news to, and she was devastated. But this still didn't make any sense. David was found about one and a half miles from his truck. Had he been there the whole time? Searchers had canvassed miles around that area and found no signs of David. They also flew drones. How was he missed? A forensic exam and autopsy have only left more questions than answers, and the family is working hard to learn the truth. What happened to David Schultz? On November 20, David ran into his house that evening around 7 p.m., changed clothes, and told his family he'd be back. He had one more run to do that night. David had to deliver a trailer of pigs to a farm in nearby Sac City. This was an ordinary occurrence in the Schultz home. David left to pick up a load of pigs from a property in Eagle Grove, a property he had been working with for 10 years. David was the last truck loaded that evening and pulled out of there around 10.50 p.m. The load was to be delivered to Sac City, Iowa, about an hour and a half drive from Eagle Grove. But that load never arrived. Sarah found out the next morning when the man David worked for showed up on her doorstep looking for David. A little while later, Authorities from Sac City called because they found David's truck a trailer full of pigs and all, in the middle of an intersection, turned off and abandoned. There were no signs of David anywhere. Authorities immediately began searching the area for David. His truck was found at the intersection of 190th Street and Union Street. This is a two-lane highway, and David's truck was found facing north when it should have been heading south. If the truck continued on Union Street, the road would turn into a dirt road. The pigs were still loaded on the truck trailer, and immediately a backup truck was called to come and get the pigs delivered. Law enforcement searched the area on foot, brought in search dogs, used ATVs, and even used police airplanes to use thermal imaging. David's jacket was discovered in the ditch beside the truck, but nothing else was found. Inside the truck were all of David's belongings, including his wallet which contained $2,000 cash. This led everyone to think they could rule out a robbery, also. If David had left on his own accord, why not take the cash? The location of the truck would come into play here and would continue to mystify everyone. The truck was confirmed to have picked up the load of pigs in Eagle Grove. Detectives were able to use the GPS on his phone to track his movements, and this is what they learned. First, they confirmed that he picked up a load of pigs and left around 10.50 p.m. At 11.15 p.m., David stopped at the mile marker 126 truck stop on Highway 20. This was en route to the delivery location in Sac City. They checked surveillance footage at the truck stop to see if they could find any clues. David can be seen pulling in. He parks under some lights and gets out, walking around his truck. He is then seen searching for something in his truck, drinking something, and then scrolling through his phone. He stayed at the truck stop for a total of 16 minutes before pulling out and heading back on his way. David was alone. He is seen on a dot camera heading west just after leaving the truck stop. All seemed normal so far as this would have been his route. At 12.18 a.m., the cell phone GPS shows that David arrived or passed through the intersection at Highway 20 and Highway 71 in Sac City. He was almost to his destination. At this intersection, David should have turned left and headed south. Instead, he turned right and headed north, in the complete opposite direction of his destination. Three miles up this road is where David's truck was found abandoned. Police estimate the truck arrived at this spot around 12.40 a.m., leaving many to wonder why it took the truck 22 minutes to travel just three miles. Both Sarah, David's wife, and authorities continued search efforts in the weeks and months to come. Over 200 searchers went out daily and covered over 100,000 acres. 
Many times authorities have stated they were certain that David wasn't out there because if he was, they would have found them. The search was so intense the body of another missing man was found. On December 2, 2023, searchers came across a body of a man. It was not David, however. They had found the body of Mark Reisberg, a man who had been missing in the area since October. His cause of death was listed as a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Nothing new would be found in David's case until April 24, 2024. On the afternoon of April 24, 2024, just before 2 p.m., a local farmer in Sac City called authorities out to his farm. He had been prepping the fields for planting when he discovered the body of a deceased man. Because authorities had been given an exact pair of David's boots to search for, he was initially identified by those boots. The man in the field was David Schultz. Sarah and the boys were beyond devastated. This was the outcome they feared the most, but had still been hoping for a miracle. Finding David, however, brought forth many questions. Why hadn't he been found earlier? He was discovered just a mile and a half from his truck. Authorities, including detectives, all branches of law enforcement, and professional search and rescue teams, canvassed over a five-mile radius around his truck. Had they missed him? Or, had he just recently ended up there? It was announced that they believed he had been deceased for quite some time, but more answers would have to come from a forensic evaluation and autopsy, which was to take place right away. Law enforcement also said there were no immediate signs of foul play. The autopsy was completed on April 25, 2024, and there were no indications of foul play found. While final results are not in yet, authorities have publicly stated they do not believe David Schultz was a victim of foul play. The family disagrees. Sarah and other family members have enlisted the help of the United Cajun Navy to raise funds for a second autopsy for another opinion. They don't believe there was any reason for David to be out in the field on his own accord. He didn't run away, and there was no indication of self-harm. He was healthy and happy. How does a 53-year-old man just leave his truck, in the middle of the road, in the middle of the night, and walk into a field and die? David was found in a farm field, lying face up. He was wearing a t-shirt and jeans, but his jeans were down. He had his boots on, which ultimately led to his initial identification. His truck keys were found in the pocket of his jeans. A second private autopsy will cost over $10,000, and with the family requesting it, they will have to foot the bill. This in addition to the unexpected funeral expenses has been an extra burden to Sarah and David's families. Sarah has been grateful for the overwhelming community support, but her struggle is far from over. This is still a pretty new development, so of course we'll be watching for additional updates and news.